Hello, hello, happy October, happy Halloween, happy spooky books month. I made an original tag, it's called the Goosebumps tag and I'm super excited to share it with you because I've been trying to find a Goosebumps centric book tag for the longest time because Goosebumps is my childhood, Goosebumps are filled with nostalgia for me, Goosebumps is basically my version of Harry Potter, which I know that could be blasphemous for a lot of Harry Potter fans, but I grew up with Goosebumps and so they just have a lot of sentimental value. Anyway, enough rambling, I'm just gonna get into the questions. Welcome to Dead House. Tell us your favorite and least favorite horror trope. I originally came up with this question because I watch a ton of scary movies and it's gotten to the point where I think I've watched more bad ones than good. But my favorite horror trope besides like a haunting like doll or something which can either be done really really well or really really badly um, is the groups of college students that are super ignorant and they mess with something that they're not supposed to like if it's like an urban legend of some kind or if it's like a relic that they're not supposed to mess with but then they mess with it and because you can tell from the very beginning that it's just going to be a fun movie and it's just going to be fun for you to sit there and watch them all die one by one <laughs> which makes me sound a little sadistic but there you go and my least favorite horror trope would have to be found footage the other horror trope that I have seen a lot especially recently that I'm not a big fan of is incorporating social media I think I, I understand that you know it's you know it's 2018 and everyone wants to you know showcase social media and stuff but I don't think we've gotten to the point where we know how to do it yet there's very I think there's only one where um, it's like a Skype conference call thing I think it's called unfriended and that whole movie is uh, shot through like a Skype FaceTime conference call thing and I really like that but other than that I don't think we've figured out how to do it yet so stay out of the basement is there a place or area that you find creepy to be in I find any body of water really creepy even though I swim a lot um, but especially lakes I find them really creepy because a lot of people have drowned in lakes and that just creeps me out say cheese and die Show us your favorite horror themed cover. Say Her Name by Juno Dawson and it's so cool. This is a Bloody Mary um, retelling kind of story, inspired story. And so I think it's just so cool. It's like a bathroom mirror and there's blood everywhere and you could just see the slits of her eyes. Night of the Living Dummy. If you could bring to life any fictional character, who would it be? I don't know who I would bring out because a lot of the characters that I read about are super sad and lonely. I think if I were to choose, I would go with Connor from Trick or Treat, which is the brother that I really like. I could also go with Tiger Lily from Tiger Lily or Max from The Book Thief. The Girl Who Cried Monster. What is an urban legend that you secretly believe is true? So I don't know if I 100% believe this, but it is something that I do a lot of research on and I like to read stories about because I'm a geek. But it's the urban legend of the black eyed kids. Just anything with kids I think is super creepy. So um, I just, it's like one of those stories that I find super exciting to read about. The Haunted Mask. Favorite supernatural creature. It can also be a movie monster. In general, I really like werewolves and zombies, but if we want to be specific, I really like that creature from Pan's Labyrinth that has the eyeballs on its palms, because I think he's super creepy. And I would love to dress up as that monster for Halloween at one point, but, you know, effort and stuff. The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Favorite werewolf book or movie, or a favorite transformation scene as a bonus. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of werewolf movies out there, so I really like the classic Wolfman, which came out in like the 40s or something, but my favorite werewolf transformation scene would have to be the one from the first episode or the second episode of Hemlock Grove. One day at Horrorland. Tell us about a spooky pastime. I have so many spooky pastimes and I don't know if I 100% 
believe that they were, you know, supernatural or anything. But there is this one time when we went to, uh, we didn't go camping, but we did go to this cave attraction thing and um we heard a lot of haunted like stories about it well i did and i told my parents and they were like yeah we should go there i was like eight or ten or something and my auntie and my cousins were visiting from indonesia so we took them as well and when we were looking at the memorial plaques for like you know the people that died in the war and stuff one of them uh, was like from the island of where my Arnie's husband um, grew up in and so we thought that that was cool that there was like some Indonesian here in Australia and um, so we tried to take a photo and we kept taking the photo it never worked the camera worked everywhere else my dad would like point it somewhere else and it would work and then point it back to my Arnie in front of that um, stone thing and it didn't work so I, I like to think that something creepy happened there. The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Favourite book or movie involving witchcraft? Hocus Pocus, obviously. A Night in Terror Tower. If you were to be put in a horror movie, which would it be? Okay, so if there was any chance of me living to tell the tale and gaining some really cool friends at the end of it, I would want to be inserted into it because I really like the group of kids that are just running around. I think they're super cool, even though I'm like twice their age, maybe. <laughs> um, but uh, my fear that Pennywise would turn into would probably be a pochong, which if you don't know what it is, I'll put the picture up right now. And a bonus question, welcome to Camp Nightmare. Tell us a spooky campfire story. Okay, I've got one. Ready? <laughs> I'm trying to do the... I'm trying to do like a spooky voice, but I'm losing my voice. When I was two years old, my parents, my brother and I were staying at my auntie's and uncle's house. Every night, my mum said that I would look at the window and start crying. And my brother, every morning, would point at the window and ask my parents who was at the window. And every night, you would hear knocking and banging. After a couple of months, we all moved out of there and we found out that there was a murder that happened right outside that window in the alleyway. So that's it. That's the end of the tag. I will leave the people that I will tag down in the description bar below, so go check that out. But... Please feel free to do this tag, I, it's, I think it's a lot of fun, I just want to hear everyone's spooky stories and just, you know, share the Halloween spirit. I hope you're having a great day and you will see me in another video soon.